All right, so we started in class with a little, uh, I gave you three points, and I said you're going to define the, uh, the parabola that those three points uh, were on, which is kind of a cool task if you think about it. I mean, it takes two points to uniquely define a line. It takes well, three points to uniquely define a, a parabola. Right, so those three points were those listed right there. <clears throat> and we start with, we know the uh, kind of standard form of a quadratic is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So you take each one of these points, and you're going to build an equation from it. Each one of those points will generate an equation. So three points, we're going to have three equations. So the first one, 1, 6, you know, you got to realize x is the 1, y is the 6. So that is, um, if you see, uh, you see the y right here, that's where I'm going to put 6. 6 equals a times x squared, so 1 squared, plus b times 1, plus c. So if I simplify that, that means 6 is equal to, oops, 6 is equal to, Sorry, um, a plus b plus c. So that's one equation. Okay, I'm going to need that. I'm going to use that later. Uh, another one, I'm going to use the blue point. So I'm going to plug in 17 for y. So 17 equals a times x squared, so 2 squared, plus b times x, which is 2, plus c which I don't know. So that's like 17 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. So that blue point generates this equation. So we need one more equation. We've got three variables. We want three, three equations to solve the system. So I have the orange one. So we've got 11 for y. So 11 equals a times negative 4 squared, negative 4 squared will be 16, plus b times negative 4 plus c. If I clean that up a little and I get 11 equals 16a minus 4b plus c. So that's my third equation. So you got the yellow, the blue, and the orange equation. So now, I mean, all that work I've done, I can kind of, uh, I'm going to clean this thing up, and I'm going to go down a page, and I'm just going to write those three equations. So 6 equals a plus b plus c. 6 equals a plus b plus c. 17 equals 4a plus 2b plus c, and 11 equals 16a minus 4b plus c. All right, now we're going to solve this thing by hand, and we're going to use substitution. Later in the unit, we're going to get to a point where I show you how to use technology uh, to find the solution. So like, there'll be a process you go through with your calculator, and I don't know, I'd say within You'll probably inputting the data into your calculator will take 30 seconds, and then generating the answer with your calculator will take all but five seconds. So, so technology is definitely going to help us here, but I'm going to show you what it looks like to, to solve this system by hand using substitution. So if, if I consider the first equation, you know, if 6 is a plus b plus c, I don't think you'd have any, any issues with me telling you that well, that's all, that also means that c is equal to 6 minus a minus b. So that doesn't seem very significant. If, if 6 is a plus b plus c, then c is 6 minus a minus b. So I've, I'm going to consider that first equation kind of used. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take c in the second equation, and I'm going to plug in 6 minus a minus b. So we'll do some work there. So let's come down here. So 17 equals 4a plus 2b plus 
C. Well, C is 6 minus A minus B. All right, so you're like, wow, this looks more complicated. That's okay. We, we do have a, maybe the equation looks longer, but we only have A's and B's in it at least now. So if you simplify that. You simplify that, you get, um, so you got 4A minus A, that's 3A. Um, you got 2B minus B, that's plus B. And you got a plus 6. And you can move the 6 over to the other side and make it a minus 6. So we're going to end up with 7, nope, 11, you know, 17 minus 6, 11 equals... 3a plus b. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, you know that 3a plus b has to equal 11. And if you think about what it took to get to that point where 11 was equal to 3a plus b, well, to get to this equation in blue, you have combined both of these equations. So both of those equations together can kind of narrow your choices. They're going to tell us that, hey, 11 is equal to 3a plus b. We're not, we're not done yet, though, right? I, I need to get to a point where I have one equation and one variable. So I, I haven't used that, that last equation. I'm going, to kind of, I'm going to kind of play with this last equation and see what I can come up with. So I don't know, let's, uh, I'll take this info here. Let's work with this. All right, let's see how I can manipulate this. Okay, so let's go with that third equation. Third equation says 11 equals 16 times A minus 4 times B plus C. And another way to write C is 6 minus A minus B. Well, I'm sitting here and I still have one equation, but I have two variables. I have A and B. But if you come back here, look at that. Um, if you use that equation, that's from that equation, we actually know that B is equal to 11 minus 3A. So I combined the first two equations to come up with the fact that b is 11 minus 3a. So, let's see, I'm gonna clean up this third equation. So I got 11 equals 16a, let's see, I got minus 4b, minus b, so it'd be minus 5b. Um, Oh, and that was a, that'll be a 15a because I'm gonna take this one away. So I'll take 11 is 15a minus 5b plus 6. And don't forget, b is 11 minus 3a. So you start to put the pieces of the puzzle together. 11 equals 15a minus 5 times. 11 minus 3a plus 6. Ooh, I only have one variable. So let's try to see if we can solve for it. 11 is 15a and distribute the minus 5. So minus 55 plus 15a plus 6. Combine like terms, you got 30a. And you got what? Um, minus 49. I'll move the 49 over. So I have a minus 49 on the right. I'll have a plus 49 on the left. So that's 60 equals 30A, which means that A equals 2. And if A equals 2, I'll go back here. If A equals 2 and B is 11 minus 3A, that means b equals 11 minus 6, which is 5. So I know a and b. a is 2, b is 5. Now I'm going to scroll back through my work, and I'm going to see 
is there any equation that I have, I, if I know A and B, I can find C? Yes. It's right here. It's got the yellow in it. It's right here in yellow. It says you can calculate C if you know A and B. C is 6 minus A minus B. C equals 6 minus A minus B. C equals 6 minus 2 minus 5. C equals 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Now, so we have A, B, and C. Now I kind of got to check our answer, though. So the general form of a standard form of a parabola, y equals ax squared plus bx plus 5x plus c. So my hope is if I graph this parabola right here, those three points better be on it. They better be on it. So I'm going to open up my graphing calculator real quick. I'm going to put that equation in for y equals. Then I'm going to go to the table, and I'm going to look for our original three points. These ones right here. Okay, so let's open up the calculator. So the calculator is is open. Uh, I need a new equation. I think that's this button. Okay. So I want to type in 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. 2x squared. 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. So I've got I've got a picture of what the graph looks like. Oops. Now I'd like to go to the table. And I'm going to look for those points. So one six. Yep, I got it. One six. One six. Two seventeen. Two seventeen. And negative four eleven. Negative four eleven. So I successfully came up with the equation of the uh, quadratic or the parabola that contained these three points. So maybe you can kind of think about why does it only take three points to uniquely define a parabola? Why don't we need more than that? Or why can't I do it in fewer than, than three points? So those would be things to consider uh, at this point. If you were looking for one more practice problem, um, to bring to class tomorrow if you wanted to try you know one more I would give you just three points and try to come up with the equation of the quadratic that satisfied those three points so I'm gonna kinda cheat here I'm obviously gonna start with the answer so I'm just on my calculator real quick I'm gonna put in the equation of a parabola and then I'll just grab three points off of it that way I know that you'll get a nice answer. you'll get nice numbers for a b and c because if i just make up three points you know a b and c might be these just nasty nasty um, numbers so so okay we're just about ready I'll look at my table okay i'll give you two points three points sorry 211 um negative 435 and 0, negative 5. Okay. So I would try that. And if you want, you can pause real quick because in just a second I'm going to write down the answer. Okay, so uh, be warned, I'm going to write the answer here. So if you want to try it on your own, press pause. There you go. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Hope that uh, that helped, and we'll just uh, we'll keep moving forward. So, thanks for watching.